The greatest invention of the 20th century is this. The transistor. You use these to build NAND gates in electronics. The reason why they work is that they contain semiconducting material, which is essentially something that was predicted by quantum mechanics. Check this out. Something like copper conducts electricity, allows electricity to run along it, whereas things like rubber and different types of plastics insulates electricity. One way you can picture it is that a material like copper has uh, free electrons in it, so that if you were to hook up a battery and it's pushing current along here, all of the electrons push against and we end up with a flow of electrons. Now picture this, imagine we have a piece of wire but we have some sort of insulating material in the middle of it and so we end up trying to push electrons but uh, no free electrons here and so suddenly the current stops. Now imagine the material was instead some kind of semiconductor which means that it can insulate as well as conduct. If we provide a current to it, we're actually providing free electrons to the semiconducting material and so suddenly we're able to turn it into a conductor. Turn that current off and suddenly it becomes an insulator again. Our transistor contains semiconducting material and we've also got these three leads. Essentially what we're trying to do is get electricity to flow from one side of the transistor over to the other side. But that won't happen until there is a current put onto that third leg there. Whereupon we end up with that semiconductor turning into a conductor and our electricity can flow can happen. Take that current away and suddenly the electricity flow gets turned off which leaves the question, how do we hook up these to turn them into a NAND gate?